It's a beautiful day for some open source. A beautiful day for free software. Hi, contributors. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the opensource.com top five video for the week of June 16th, 2017. In this week's top five, we're learning to talk, we're learning new languages, and we're learning to quit. I know you're eager to get started, so let's have a look. Coming in at number five this week, community moderator Don Watkins talks about how open source is advancing the semantic web. The basic idea of the semantic web is that everything should be able to interoperate and communicate. While Web 2.0 is progress toward that goal, we're not there yet. There are many open source projects working to get us closer. At number four, an introduction to parameter expansion in Bash. Shell scripting is a powerful part of the Linux experience. Despite over a decade writing shell scripts, I was able to learn something new in James Panachuli's article. I hope you do too. This week's number three is nine resources to get started with JavaScript. JavaScript is a popular language for web coding. Joshua Wolf presents some tools to help you learn to master it. Coming in at number two is getting started with Go. Paul Burt introduces the new programming language that is all the rage in the DevOps world these days. If you read this article, you'll get the basics down in no time. Or should I say, go time. No, I shouldn't. And your top article this week is five totally incorrect ways to exit Vim. It's never correct to exit Vim, but if you really must, don't use any of the ways editor Jason Baker found. Okay, contributors, this software won't ship itself, so I have to leave. But I'll be back later. In the meantime, be sure to visit opensource.com to read these and many other great articles. Won't you merge? Won't you merge? Please won't you merge? My pull request. <laughs>